And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Am I grinning? Do I look pleased? Well, I've always wanted my own crokinole board, and it comes in a box this, this size, huge, huge box. This is exciting. This is a game that everybody should have, not because it's so big, but because it's kind of like having your own ping pong table or your own pool table. This is the ping pong or pool table of the board game world. This is the thing that you can pull out and you say, hey, you want to play crokinole? And someone says, huh? You teach them, and they're like, oh, yeah, because it's just natural. It's, uh, let's just look at it. This is, there's many different crokinole boards. The one I'm talking about today specifically is done by Mayday Games. Crokinole boards are usually quite expensive. This one is, a, is one of the cheaper ones that's in production, and the quality is still quite good. Let me show you. So here's what you get from Mayday Games. We have the board, which is really nice and smooth. Uh, the discs, which come in two different colors, light and dark. And those discs come themselves in a box. And that box opens like this. It comes with pegs that can be put on here to keep the score. The pegs don't go in as well as I'd like them to. But that is the only problem I have with the components of this game. It's a nice little box. And I, well, I guess storing this thing it can be kind of tricky because it is so big. Now, in the middle here, we have wooden pegs, which work okay. But what I like better, and what they've included, you can get here, is an assembly kit uh, where you can take these screws, cut off the rubber hose, and put that inside these instead, giving a little bit more of a bouncy bumpers in the middle. So you can see here, here are the, the rubber ends. I, I just like these a little bit better because what the disc bounces off them. It, it's smoother and it's just a little bit bouncier, which adds to the fun of the game. So here we go. This is a crokinole board. And usually it's a two-player game, uh, but you can play three to four players. Uh, but usually four players you're playing partnerships. But anyway, we'll, I'm just going to talk about the rules for a two-player game. Each player gets discs, 12 discs of their color, and you'll be sitting across from each other. And on your turn, you take your disc and you put it somewhere in this line, not more than halfway over, and then you will flick it towards the middle. Now, if your opponent has no discs on the board at all, if there's no discs of your opponent on the board, then you are trying to shoot into this middle hole here. If you make it into that hole, you get an automatic 20 points and your disc comes off the board. If you don't make it into that hole, you definitely want to get it somewhere in this middle section here, the 15 point section, because if you don't, your disc comes off the board. Now, I mean, if you have another disc there, you can shoot at that disc, and as long as that disc makes it inside, you're fine. But one of your discs has to make it inside the section from your shot, or it's off. In fact, if you have another disc and you shoot that disc, and neither one of them goes in the middle, they both come off. So eventually you get one in the middle, hopefully. Your opponent, then, when he shoots, must hit your disc. So if there's no disc in the middle, you shoot for the middle. If the, your opponent has a disc in the, in, on the board somewhere, you sh must hit their disc and then, of course, still try to get in the middle. So that would count. I hit their disc, and yet, I'm, so I stand aboard. If I had missed their disc, let's say it was like this, and I shot, okay, I hit it. Wow, I'm really good. And I shot and I missed, my disc comes off the board. And that's basically the way the game works, back and forth. So as your pieces land at different spots on the board, it's easier to shoot at them. Now, where can you shoot from? Well, you can shoot from anywhere you want, really, but the, there's a, one of my favorite rules in all board gaming kind, and that's the one-cheek rule, which says you must keep one cheek on your chair while shooting. So that keeps you from getting up and walking all over the table to get the best shot. After all the shots have been made and whatever pieces might still be alive on the board, you count up your points, including any 20 points you got from having a disc go in the middle. If a piece is touching a line like these two pieces are, they go towards the lower end. If a piece is touching the outer line, it wouldn't have even scored points at all. So here in this instance, this one here is touching, so it's 5. This one's in the 10 section, so it's 15 points for black. While the tan piece got 15 plus 10, 25, it's 30. So tan scored 30, and the black scored 15. So we subtract the two st scores, and tan gets 15 points for the round. The first person to get 100 points is the winner. And you just keep playing round and round, switching the first player back and forth, since that is a big deal. 
And there's a whole lot more in Crocodile. If you look on YouTube, you'll find people showing how to do trick shots and bounce here, 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 and go in the middle and stuff. I'm just lucky to get into the middle at all. It is definitely a game that you get better with as time goes by. Uh, the discs here are real smooth. You can wax your board and do other things to your board to, to make it even smoother. I'm, I'm more content. This isn't going to be a board that sees heavy use. Just me and my youth group and whoever I play the game with. Uh, storing the board, like I said, is a bit of a challenge. I keep mine in the box itself. And I keep all my discs in the little wooden box that came with the game. But overall, I'm very happy with this. This is a very uh, good piece of equipment. So there you have it. That's the Mayday Crokinole board. Now, uh, I think it's being touted as kind of a beginner's type board because you can go spend five, six, seven hundred dollars on one of these boards, which to me is ludicrous and I've never done it because as, as much as I like Crokinole, I don't really want to put that kind of money into the game. But I am very pleased with this board. It's, it's definitely good enough for me. It's definitely an affordable price for most people because it's the kind of game you can bring out on your coffee table or have somewhere and it looks good. People are going to play it. You'll find that people will want to come. Now, an expert crook and hole player is going to shoot the snot out of you, just blowing you away with his shots. But for most people, uh, novices playing novices, they're going to have a lot of fun. And you'll find that you get better a lot quickly, uh, more quickly than you might imagine that you will. Again, if you spend hours and hours and hours practicing, you'll do, you'll do fabulous. But I don't know if I'll ever get to that point. I'm still pretty bad. But I have a lot of fun with the game. The scoring is fun. It's fun to shoot the discs. The rules seem a little odd at first, but hey, it makes sense. If there's no disc on the board, shoot for the middle. If there are discs in the board, hit your opponent's discs. And once you pull off that awesome shot where you knock two of your opponent's discs out of the middle, out of the board, and then you knock one of yours into the middle and the other one lands into 15 points, when you do something like that, even if it's by accident, it is an absolutely amazingly fun experience. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.